Good morning, guys. Brian Mackle right here, folks, ladies and gentlemen, folks at home, however you want to say it. What are we doing? We, uh, we're, on a, we're on a river today with our good friend Casey Hawks from First Light. Did a little s stay over uh, from our conservation initiative that we did yesterday, planting some wild sage on the hillside. And today we're going to go try to catch a fly. We're going to wet a line, as Casey likes to say. A little fly fishing adventure on a beautiful piece of water here. It's a piece of water that I have personally never visited or fished. I believe Casey's fished it once before. I believe other Casey's fished it several times. So we'll see what the day brings. It's, it's a little chilly, but the scenery's gorgeous, and we're targeting rainbow trout. Fish on. Oh, freaking broke me. Well, it's got broke off. Mr. B Mac, what's he got a fish on? Big streamer eater. Oh, a nice, pretty fish. Oh, yeah. This river is so gorgeous right now. Look at that. Super pretty. They exist, guys. They exist. First fish of the day. First trout in a long time. Um, I'm going to correct you, Brian, and say steelhead or trout. Just like that. Pretty fish. Nice, buddy. Yeah. We'll take it. On the board. On the board. You guys saw on the GoPro, I uh, had a fish on and I lost him. Broke me off. But man, this river is awesome. It's got some great looking holes. We just got to figure it out. I'm still throwing a double nymph rig. Mr. Hawks is throwing a double nymph rig. And then Brian's throwing a streamer, so. Fish on. Ooh, a good one. I borrow your net. He's about 14 inches. Feels good. <sighs> nice. Well, I'm finally on the board. Took a while. Pretty fish. About 16, huh? Hold that thing up, Case. Oh, yeah. I'll let you hold my fish, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very nice of you. Heck yeah. I will take it. What did he eat? Oh, he ate that little top bug, the brown one. Yep. Brown quill. Yep. All right, beauty. Sweet. OTB. OTB. Don't foul this up. Whoa, oh, it's a good one. Casey Butler. Bobber down. This looks like a nicer fish. He's running. Oh, ho, ho. guys, I just caught number two. Good one. Yeah, they're eating this top buck. They're yeah, destroying it. That last one I caught was about his size. Well, this is only the fourth fish of the day from the three of us, but pretty one. That guy. Uh, looks like a cutthroat, is he? Maybe some cut bow. Whoa. Man, fish are full of life. Good times. I mean, with that backdrop. Yeah, I haven't seen any. Besides that one that just bit my thing and I was looking down. I don't know, I was looking down at my stupid line. I looked up and it... Oh, Big one. 
big one. Oh! That's what we're after, boys. Whoa! Yeah. Got a good one. Hell yeah. What's up, Brand? Nice, dude. That's a good one. That's a nice one. That's a good fit. Heck yeah, yeah man. These fun. fish are full of life. Oh, there he is, guys. I'm gonna let him go. What a fish. Man. That doesn't suck. <laughs> that doesn't suck at all. Like? Just a little quills. Nice work, dude. We're just walking down the river. I don't think you guys can see it, but there's like five trout sitting right here. Let's see if Brian can hook one. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> Casey called it. I just pull it straight towards you, snap it. The worst when you sit and spend 10 minutes tying on two flies. A fly dropper, another fly, and then you break everything off first cast. But it happens. Well, Hawks, I guess you're up. There you go. There you go. Nice and slow. Yes. Casey's gonna break off and then I'm gonna be up. <laughs> Bro, I just showed you what not to do. This is a tough little river because there's so many different current lines. Like, you're trying to get your bobber and your flies in the current with the best floats, but then in between you and that current line, it's like an eddy going back up, so it's hard to get a good, clean drift. Where the fish are sitting are kind of like just off the eddy, so it's hard to get that fly to float naturally, a natural presentation across. Them. It's where a spinning rod would come in handy. Oh, I missed him. He chased it downstream and I missed him. Fish on. I had to show the boys how to do it. Dang, another pretty one. Hawks, you know what they call that? Uh, putting on a clinic. Mm. Your flies really work, Case. Hawks, you should you should get some. Did you watch him eat it? Yeah. No, actually I didn't. I just watched the bobber go down. Right on, man. Just a little guy, but I'll it's a tough it. little hole to pull a fish out of. Admittedly, not a huge fan of nymphing, but are you a big fan of catching fish? It is fun to catch them. We've been talking today about like if we were to like choose a way to catch a fish. I think we all agree dry fly is number one. A good streamer bite, it's hard to beat, but ultimately just catching fish is the best. So that's what the hot ticket's been. We've tried a bunch of different combinations of little beadhead nymphs, but that one on the left's just kind of a quill, a little bigger quill, and then that one on the right is just a little midge looking thing. It's pretty tiny. It says, I don't even know. What size do you think that is, a 20? Yeah. 20, and then maybe a 16 or a 14 on the quill. That's been the hot ticket for the last hour, running them about six feet underneath a bobber. Yes, bobber, not a strike indicator. I keep trying to low hold Brian and go down the river and find the next hole, and he keeps catching fish up here, so I have to walk back up. <laughs> Dude, they are spunky. They are, right? I think they call them spunky comedina. That sounds Very funny. similar to funky comedina. That's a great fish. Nice, very nice. That's a pretty one. Bottom bug. Bottom bug. 
like, they like those little guys. Maybe it's something to do with the, how bright it is out. Yeah, I bet How it clear is. the water is. It is so dang bright to clear out. Oh yeah, man. Great That's fish. Cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. Mr. Hawks, he was a good fish on. Literally just gave Casey one of those bigger quills and he put it on first cast, caught that fish. Dang, great fish, buddy. Look at the colors on that thing. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, man, what a stud. <laughs> this one's hot. It's a pretty good one. Finally got him to eat. Nice. Nice, beautiful fish. Just didn't want to eat the bug. Finally got him to do it though. Awesome fish, awesome fish. Let this guy go. How's money? They're really hitting these little nymphs real consistently. They're not working as much. If you can see that, but just a real tiny little guy. Just forgot the cheese and Casey just comes out of the out of the woodwork with with these four of these packs of cheese just on standby. It's because I'm cheese clutch. Okay, I'm clutch. Cheese on standby. The best part of the day is when you make Casey Hawks make you a sandwich. Well, that's how we're gonna end the day. Me and Brian got a long drive back, but uh man, what a gorgeous day. I don't think you can ask for any place. I mean I'm sure there's a few places in the world that you can catch fish. The quality fish we caught with the background and backdrop like this. The fish were added bonus, but what a fun day. Fox, any last words, thoughts, opinions? Thanks for the day. Gorgeous, can't, be, can't beat it. It's, uh, yeah, gotta love being on the water. I don't know, why does he put that thing in my face? Man, you're not a man of a few words until you put a camera yeah, on him. You talk nonstop and then suddenly you can't speak any English. I mean, I don't know why you're coming in hot mail like that. I mean, I didn't do anything to you, Brian. He did us. make us. Get back, get back to make my sandwich. <laughs> We can close this out, no. Uh, super fun day, man. Casey uh, Butler, Levere, behind the camera, not not this one, got by far and away the best fish of the day. Just a gorgeous one. Today feels like the first day of like spring and summer. And uh, man, can't wait to get out of there. Peep the new merch, we dropping soon. Stay tuned, probably right around the 16th or so of April coming up. Lots of new designs, so anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Shop one.